the road to Omaha runs through Stillwater, Oklahoma, Albright Stadium on a gorgeous day here on the campus of Oklahoma State, getting it started with a great matchup with Arkansas out of the SEC in Grand Canyon. Connor Nolan gets the start. Five earned runs in each of the last three starts. Troy, has he turning around here today? Yeah, I think Lowell, he's really got to hit his spots. He's a guy that's not going to blow you away with his face. And Robert Moore. Struck to center field. Braden Webb is there. Drifting a bit to his left, and there's one down. Warren gave up his number. As this one is ripped to left. Left fielder falls down. Zach Gregory lost his footing. It would have been a close play, but was not. That's when the coaching staff says he hooks balls. That's off the glove of the freshman Peyton Stovall. And so two defensive miscues. We Six strikeouts per game for the Lopes offense, and there is the first from Nolan. Connor Nolan. Just, uh, stay on their toes when you've got a pitcher that just gets that ball, gets a sign, and goes. Struck to left, going back, and the Razorbacks are on the board. An abrupt interruption to a dynamic start by Daniel Avidia. Well, I really got the Razorback faithful on their feet. And He's a guy that can do that. Tremendous power to all fields. You see that? That's a fastball right down the chute. He does not miss it. He knew it right off the bat. Boy, that clears everything. It almost went out. 3-1. Here's count here for Wilson. And Wilson is a good offensive team. Lofted to left. Good read there by Zach Gregory. He figured out the footing. It allows that runner to get from first to second, get in the scoring position. Runner is off, swing and a miss, the throw down, the tag by Moore. Got him. Strike him out. Throw him out. Double play. And that wraps it up for the Razorback. Throw right here by Michael Turner. That's a tough ball Whoa. to handle. Watch this tag by Robert Moore. He's the best in the business when it comes to that. Maybe try to protect him a little bit more and swing in that pitch. Off the middle, and Stovall has a base knock. Boy, how Second big for a goal, man. <laughs> that got a piece. No, they rung him up. Webb dying and past the glove of Weaver. One run will score. And that is a clutch knock. Forget exit velo for the moment. Braden Webb, right place, right time. And it's 2 nothing Arkansas. Brady Slavens in this situation. Ah, can't locate, so now the bases are loaded for Caden Wallace. Hits him. Second hit batter of the inning. And that makes it 3 0, and the threat is not over. Away. Off the middle, pass to Video. This is going to play two. Arkansas cashing in, finding the hits they could not find all season long. The moment not too big for Michael Turner. Runner off. And Lanzilli down on strikes for the second time, but damage is done all quick. Because it doesn't matter where Bush hits it, he's going to have a shot to get on. And he thought he was Runners on and move him around. Rip to left. This is down two, perhaps. And that will be a one out double for Elijah Burris. Coach Stankiewicz. That struck to right, right to Lanzilli, and one left on. Elijah Burris with the double. Four national seeds. And for the second straight inning, Moore leads off. And that ball is booted by Johnny Weaver. Tommy Tanks now entering the transfer portal. Battles with the bunt. It's straight back to Riley. But Moore got such a good jump on that. Go for there, Troy. Now thinking, of, oh, ball in the dirt. Great job by Robert Moore. On a break with. This time with two outs, getting hit. Ball lofted to right field in between Aguilar and Weaver. And Aguilar is going to take it. So 95 strikeouts, which is second most in the SEC. Well struck to right field, and that is gone. GCU is on the board. Welcome to Stillwater, Taylor Aguilar. Home run number 21, extending the GCU school record on the D1 level.
just an absolute laser. It's not, they don't get a, a two to one, four to three win. They're hitting bombs. Speaking of, to left field and gone. Make it happen. That's what the sign is at, says out left field and Wallace has done it again. He's making it happen in left field. Two home runs there for Caden Wallace. Have a day. Caden Wallace looks like a big leaguer now. That's a fastball left out up over the zone. And again, look at that really short stride button, short compact swing by Caden Wallace. Again, tremendous power to all fields, but especially to left field. After Wallace was hit by a pitch to drive in a run. And that's in the hole. Going to be a tough play for Wilson and an infield single from Michael Turner. Two great fan bases, potentially. As this is taken to the gap. Into the glove of Redusco. So let's just do a reset. A little flare. Nice sliding catch by Stovall over there at first base. Yeah, talent like that. One of the best freshman prospects in America. Preseason SEC Freshman of the Year. You find him away. Now there, smartly gives way to Robert Moore. Sometimes we'll chase. And that is just slapped, a professional hit right there. Thinking to Collado, showing off the wheels, not in time. Great play out left, Zach Gregory to Robert Moore. And Collado. Just tremendous range and absolute cannon at shortstop. And there is a nice knock to left field that will get down in front of Verduzco. Battles, think smarter of it. Yep. And we'll settle for the we'll see on the squeeze play that absolutely love everything about college baseball. Here's Jacob Wilson flying out to Robert Moore. Contact gets a lot of fly balls. Buckley, another first pitch into the glove of Caden Wallace. One, two, three, inning for Connor Nolan. Sometimes that's all that positive word you need as a hitter. And there is a leadoff walk for Slavin. Played fair, maybe deep at some parts like the gap. That one is taken to the gap in right. And it is Bush calling off Aguilar. A nice tag and heads up base running as Slavins tags up safely from first base. There's calling it, you can go. All happened so quickly, and that one is through the right side for Turner. And check this out the little things, the details. Slavins tags up on a ball. That's where the connection is right there. And that is hit well to left, and that is. The first base hit in the regional for Lanzilla. So back to back this is a future stud for this Arkansas program. And look at that. Sandstrom leaves him loaded, painting on that outside corner. This weekend, and this is a really talented regional. Ooh, back to the hip of Nolan. He recovers. Tough angle makes the play. That's toughness. That's agility. That's the ability to just get it done. It's like you said. Connor Nolan is saving that bullpen some innings. Another tough play off the breaker to first. And an infield single for Verduzco. You want to take. That's a good take right there, and that's a second base runner. Oh, another one twice. Nolan takes a shot. That throw goes a little high. He's shaking his head saying, what did I do? Bush Jr., and again, the Lopes aren't getting any breaks. That's a great base hit point. up the that, middle. That is a great you point. Know, that's a ball that's just a rocket off the bat. You feel like you're going to get a run. You've got a rally started. No, it's a ricochet off the pitcher for an out. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. All toughness and grit for Connor Nolan. You may be able to hit me, but I can miss some barrels as well. Later in the region. Yeah, Cole Ramage has been really solid. You get get the ability to run a sixth year senior out there in relief in Cole Ramage. That fast zone. There it is. Yeah. Collado down so many, many breaking balls right here. Battles right past his glove. And Aguilar thinking before taking second base. He's got his third hit. Struck out a lot, just five strikeouts. There is number six, however. And dugout time for Core Image. And the hero with a on. 
giving Robert Moore a chance to hit through that hole, but doesn't need it right there. Irrelevant. I would imagine philosophy here is just to do that. Get your one out. If we can find a way to win. He's at the bowling alley and the return <laughs> ball comes back to him. Not a full swing there, but still good enough to carry it to right. Early June, doesn't it? Yep. And a swing and a miss for Webb. Getting everybody back on the regular rotation and get everybody rested as Weaver keeps this game alive. Being healthy and fresh is big. And that should do it. Battle flips to his buddy Moore. And the Arkansas Razorbacks open the Stillwater Regional with a convincing 7-1 win. Considering the teams that GCU has defeated this season, teams like Oregon State, Stanford, and Texas Tech, all tournament teams. What kind of statement do the Razorbacks make here? Well, I think it was big for Arkansas to come out and put some numbers and score early, get that five-run lead, and that puts them into the winner's bracket, which is huge right there, Lowell.